Hi. Hello. Hiya. My name's Lucy. I'm 25 from Bolton. Um, I've suffered from anxiety, panic attacks and depression. Just so you know, this video is going to be edited as like hell. So there's going to be bits chopped and chopped and chopped because I've basically chatted on for probably about 20 minutes and it's only meant to be 5 minutes. So it's going to be, you know, fannied about a bit. And I'm using a selfie stick. I'm rubbish at this. <laughs> um, so basically what I'm doing is I'm taking 5 minutes on the 5th of February uh, to talk about mental health. If you don't know me, or you do know me, I don't know. Um, you might know that I've suffered with mental health problems before. Basically, when I was 21, I think it started, um, I started getting proper bad panic attacks, like crippling panic attacks. But it was a case of having four or five panic attacks a day. Like, I couldn't work, couldn't go out. Going to Asda, other supermarkets are available, was like the biggest thing in the world. The only way to describe it is you're sat looking normal. I say normal because, you know what I mean, like, you know, like nothing, nothing's wrong. But in your head, the only thing that you can think is, ah, ah, that for like, some, for me, sometimes it lasted up to like 45 minutes. So what is a panic attack? Right. Um, your heart starts going dead fast. You start feeling sick. You go dead hot. Well, this, this is my view anyway. Everything in the world is going wrong. Literally, you feel like you're going to die. Your head is all over the place while your body is going nuts at the same time. So your heart's going and you're getting sweaty and you're shaking and you feel sick and your stomach's going funny and you feel dizzy. And basically everything that you can control is going completely out of the window. So, I admitted I had a problem and I went to the doctors and then the doctors referred me on, they put me on some medication and then referred me on. So I had cognitive behavioural therapy um, with a guy called Simon, who, if he ever watches this, I owe you everything because you have saved me, uh, you legend. Seriously, Simon, thank you. <laughs> okay, so I'm on meds. Um, I'm not ashamed to talk about that. I have to take 60 milligrams of fluoxetine a day and 40 milligrams of propranolol uh, and that looks like this every day. Um, so yeah. Why should there be a stigma behind mental health? Yeah, because I have a problem up here doesn't mean that I'm less of a person. Yeah, people, it's still such a taboo subject whereas it really shouldn't be nothing should you should be able to talk about whatever you want and not get judged or anything whenever i meet someone new and i tell them that i suffer with panic attacks or anything like that i always get scared and i shouldn't because i always think they're gonna think bad of me or worry that i'm just gonna freak out on them and i'm not like that i'm very rarely like that and even if I do, I'll separate myself and I'll just be like, right, I'll be back in a minute. I don't, I'm not going to, I'm not going to hurt anyone, I'm not going to hurt myself. I'm just dealing with whatever's going on inside my head. I want to help people talk about the mental health problems because it's not a bad thing. It's not, it's not something to be afraid of, ashamed of or anything like that. Does this make it more acceptable now that you can see it? Now that you can see that they've got a little tiny problem. So in a nutshell, CBT, medication, walks, friends, music, spending time with my family, spending time with animals helps me a lot. I've got the best friends ever. They understand me, which is all, all I can ask for. Or sometimes they don't even understand me, they just accept it. Please share this video to spread the word about mental health awareness. If you ever want to talk to me, you can do. Thank you for watching my video. Um, and yeah, it's time to talk. End the stigma. Mental health isn't as bad as people think. 
and it just needs to be discussed. Everybody needs to talk about it. Uh. <laughs> Hashtag time to change, time to talk.